Hello everyone, welcome to your 30 minute full body power Pilates class. In this session, I'm gonna use two pairs of dumbbells. So I'm gonna have a lighter pair of dumbbells and a slightly heavier pair of dumbbells. So I'm gonna use one kilo and three kilos, but you guys use the weight that's right for you. You might wanna maybe step it up and use a two kilo and a five kilo, um, but it's completely up to you guys what you use at home. So we'll start by lying down on the floor. And just relax your head, relax your shoulders, relax your arms down by your sides. Feet are up, knees are lifted, and we've got a neutral spine. So in Pilates, you wanna think about breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So take a nice big inhale, fill your lungs. And then exhale out through pursed lips. And again, nice big inhale. And then this time as you exhale, I want you to think of pressing your back down flat to the mat. Draw the belly in, tighten up through the pelvic floor, ribs are tucked in. Inhale, release the spine. It's nice and straight. As you exhale, we're gonna imprint that spine. So press your back down towards the floor, draw the belly down towards the mat, tuck those ribs in, tighten up through the pelvic floor. Inhale, neutral spine. Exhale, imprinted spine. Inhale, release. And then this time as you exhale, imprint that spine and then you're gonna keep lifting that tailbone up. Lifting up into your glute bridge. At the top of the movement, you've got a straight line between knees, hips and shoulders. Tailbone slightly tucked under and we're squeezing the glutes. Inhale, we roll down, articulate that spine, one vertebrae, all the way down until we get to that neutral spine. And then exhale, imprint, we lift up. Inhale. Exhale, think lift that spine up one vertebrae. Bottom, middle, up onto the shoulder blades. Grabbing hold of your heavier pair of dumbbells, let's place them on the hips. As we roll up, drive from the heels and then roll down. Making sure that your knees are tracking in line with your feet. We're gonna do two more roll-ups. And then now with our last one, we're gonna hold our hips up nice and high. Hold them here. We're gonna lower down halfway, straight back up. Lower down halfway, back up. Spine is staying straight. We release the glutes and then you're gonna squeeze the glutes. Press from the heels. Inhale, exhale, lift. Nice job, guys. Keep resting those dumbbells wherever's comfortable on the hips. You've got five, four, three, two, Last one, hold those hips high, take the dumbbells in your hands. Lift your hands up to the sky, palms facing each other. Slight bend in the elbows. Inhale, we open our arms out into our chest fly. Exhale, we squeeze. Inhale, we open out. Exhale, lift back over your chest. Inhale, exhale. Keep lifting those glutes up in your glute bridge. Don't let those hips drop. Inhale, exhale. You've got five more before we're gonna go into our chest press. Bending at the elbows, palms facing towards the feet. Hold up in the chest fly, flip the palms. Elbows come down to the floor, press straight back up. Inhale, lower the elbows. Exhale, we lift. Elbows touch the floor, press straight back up. Keep those hips lifted. Next time we lower the elbows, we lower the hips down, press straight back up. Lower the hips, lift. Inhale, exhale, drive. Good work guys, keep on going. We're gonna alternate, one chest fly, one chest press. 
one chest fly. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We've got two more of each. Final one. We're going to bring the elbows down halfway. We're going to take some tiny pulses and a half chest press in our glute bridge. Pulse the arms the same time you pulse the legs. Pulse up and up. You've got five, four, three, two and one well done guys bring it all the way down we're going to come onto our tippy toes elbows in the ribs ready for our narrow chest press lift the hips punch the dumbbells up to the sky and i'm going to bring the elbows down to the floor keeping them in nice and close tap the hips down lift straight back up heels lifted the whole time Lower and lift. We've got five more. Five. Hips stay high in four. Exhale, press three. Two. Last one. I'll keep those hips high. I want you to punch the dumbbells as fast as you can. Punch and punch. You've got five, four, three two and one well done guys let's lower all the way down keep hold of your single heavy dumbbell feet flat on the floor hold on to each edge take a nice big inhale as you exhale we're going to sweep the dumbbell to the side of the left thigh oblique curl up inhale lower down exhale we're going to go over to the other side reach the dumbbell to the outside of the thigh. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, we lower down. As you lift up, think opposite rib to hip connection, lifting the shoulders. Use those abs, exhale up. So you can stay here with your feet down or for more of a challenge, let's lift those legs into tabletop position. Knees are at 90 degrees. We've got an imprinted spine, so back is pressed to the floor. Exhale, we'll lift. Inhale, we lower down. Great work, guys. For more of a challenge, we're going to add in that opposite leg extension. As you lift up, opposite leg extends out long. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keep pushing, guys. We've got four more. Three. Make sure you're keeping those ribs tucked in if your legs are lifted. Final one. We are just going to crunch over to the left. Back to center, left. Adding in that leg extension for more of a challenge. Three more on this side. Three, two, we swap sides. Last one, lower, just to the right. Lift, inhale, lower. You've got this. Lift up as high as you can. Reaching to the side. Three more. We crunch to center in two. Last one. Lower down. We crunch up, reach over the knees. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, dumbbell goes over our head. Arms are straight. Exhale, we crunch. Inhale, reach, exhale, lift. Checking in with that spine. If your feet are lifted, back is flat, belly is drawn down. 
Nice work. We've got four. Legs are long, flex those toes. Three. In two. Final one. Lift up, lower down, dumbbells to the sky. Straighten the legs, flex those toes. We lift the dumbbell up to the toes, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Lift up. Try and reach the dumbbell to the toes. You've got this. Five more. Exhale, four. Last three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Bring those feet down. Place that dumbbell, the heavy dumbbell, off to the side. And then from here, we're going to take a hug of those knees. Gently rock backwards and forwards until we come into our seated position on the mat. Grab hold of those lighter dumbbells. Or you can stay with the heavier ones. It's completely up to you. Bring those hands in front of you. Spine is straight, we're sitting up on those sit bones. Heels on the floor, flex those toes. Inhale, exhale, tuck that tailbone under, roll back halfway, and then we lift straight back up. Tuck the tailbone, roll back halfway, lift straight back up. Inhale, we roll back. Exhale, we lift. Inhale and exhale. Adding in the arms, we roll back. As we lift up, let's lift those arms up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, we lift. Good job, guys. As we lift up, hold here, take a nice big inhale. We lower the dumbbells behind our head, bend at the elbows. Exhale, straight back up. Inhale, we lower down. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, overhead tricep extension. Extend those arms. Lower and lift, adding the tricep. Nice work. In your tricep extension, try and keep those elbows pointed up towards the sky and keeping your arms in close to your ears. We've got two more. Last one. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, bend the elbows, exhale up. We're gonna roll back now and we're gonna hold that half roll back. Bring those dumbbells together. We twist from left to right. Eyes follow the hands, arms stay straight. Focus on the twist and twist. We've got six and five, four, three, two, last one. Well done, back to centre. Hold that half roll back. Tiny pulses up and down to finish. You've got this. Find where it burns, stick with it. You've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Wow, done. Let's lower all the way down. Bring those two light dumbbells in front of you, and then we're going to roll onto our side. So we want to be lying on our side, hips stacked one on top of each other. So think, press your top hip away from your shoulders, making sure they're in line. Knees bent forwards, feet up back in line with your hips. Take hold of the small dumbbell, place it on top of the thigh onto the side. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna open that knee out, keep those heels together. Dumbbell on the thigh, adding that little bit of resistance. Inhale, we lower, exhale, we lift. So this whole time, we wanna think about keeping the upper body still and all the movements coming from the lower body. Hips are forwards and stacked. We're not rocking backwards. It's a tiny movement just coming from the hip joint to lift that knee. Inhale, exhale, open. 
If you guys want more of a challenge, you can pick up that heavier weight and use that heavier weight. If you're feeling super strong, then take that challenge. Inhale, exhale, open up. You've got five more. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's lower the knee down, lift those feet, continue with the same movement. Heels stay glued together, but this time just the feet are lifted. Inhale, exhale, open. Check in with those abs, make sure we're still drawing the belly in. And hips are stacked. You've got this, five more. Four, three, Two, last one. We're gonna lower that foot down, extend that top leg out straight. Flex the toes, lower and lift. Check in with your leg, make sure your body is in a nice straight line. The side of your leg is facing the sky. Inhale, exhale. And your hips are staying stacked, so you don't wanna be rocked back like this and lifting the leg forwards. You want to make sure that your body is in a nice straight line, your heels in line with your hips. Good job. Keep checking in on those abs. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Sweep that foot forwards halfway, toe to the floor, heel to the sky. We lift up and down. You've got this. Lift with the heel, lift higher and higher. Make sure the toes pointing down. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Well done guys, lower all the way down. Grab hold of both of your small dumbbells and then we're gonna lie onto our stomachs. Bring the dumbbells either side of your hands. Chin is down, relax those hips. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna lift up, lift the chest. You wanna make sure that the bottom ribs are still on the mat. Your chin's tucked in, and you've got a nice straight line with your arms. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, we lift. So you will feel the lower back working. That's okay. Try and relax the glutes as best you can. Inhale, and then exhale, we lift. For more of a challenge, let's take hold of those dumbbells. Inhale, exhale, lift with the dumbbells. Hold here, drive those elbows back. Extend your arms back out straight, lower down. Exhale, we lift, drive those elbows down. Extend out straight, lower all the way down. We lift, drive, Extend and lower. Next time you lift, we're going to include the legs. So we lift up, squeeze the glutes, lift the thighs, drive the elbows back, extend out straight, lower down. Exhale, we lift. As you squeeze the glutes, try and lift the thighs as high as you can, keeping those legs straight. There's no bend in the knee. Let's go for two more. Last one, inhale, exhale, we lift. Good job guys, bring those hands in nice and close. We're gonna push up into our low plank position. So our knees are on the floor, tailbone slightly tucked under, straight line between shoulders, hips and knees. From here, we're gonna press back into our child's pose. And then we're going to straight back out into our low plank position. Inhale. And then exhale. So in the low plank, you want to make sure that your body's in a straight line. So we're not overly excessively squeezing the glutes that we're down here. And we're not poking our bum out here. It's a slight tuck under. Lift through the shoulder blades, draw the belly in. 
So for more of a challenge, you can tuck the toes under and come into that high plank position. We pop back, keep the knees hovering off the floor, and then we shoot back out again. Inhale, exhale, we lift. For more of a cardio challenge, let's add in a knee drive and pick up the pace. So we drive the knee in as we shoot forward, pop back, place that foot down. Inhale, exhale, shoot forward. Picking that pace up, we're gonna increase the heart rate. Get a little bit warmer. You've got this. Inhale, exhale, shoot. You've got six, five, four, three, two, last one. Well done guys, lift the hips up to the sky. Sink the heels to the floor. If you're in your child's pose, that's totally fine. Or come into your down dog. Let's pedal out those heels. Nice deep breaths. From here, we're gonna tip toe the feet all the way up to the hands. Grab hold of those dumbbells, sit back down. Bring them in front. And I'm gonna go over to the other side. So, propping that head up if you like, or it can be flat on the floor. Press your top hip away from your shoulders. Feet back in line with the hips, grab hold of that dumbbell, place it on top of the side of the thigh. Breathe in through the nose, and then exhale, let's lift that knee. Inhale, lower. Exhale, we lift. Check in with those abs. Ribs are tucked in, belly is drawn in. Tightening up through the pelvic floor. Exhale to lift, inhale lower. Good work guys, keep those heels glued together. Keeping that upper body as still as possible. Again, if you do it on the other side, you can choose to use the heavier weight. Go you guys. Inhale, exhale, we've got five more. So we're gonna lift those feet and continue with the same movement. Final one, the lift, lower, heels lift. Same movement. Inhale to lower, exhale to open. Beautiful work guys, you've got this. You got five more before we lower that bottom leg. Top leg is straight, foot is flexed. Final one. Lower that bottom leg down, extend that top leg out straight, flex the foot. We lower and lift. Making sure your heel's in line with the hips. Hips are stacked. So we make sure we use that glute muscle. Inhale, exhale, you've got this. Great work guys, keep going. We've got five more, four, three, two, last one, hold here. We sweep that leg forwards halfway, toe to the floor, heel to the sky, lower and lift. Make sure you're really turning that toe down and we're lifting with the heel, drive up higher and higher. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Well done guys, lower all the way down. Grab hold of those dumbbells and then we're gonna lie down on the floor. Arms lifted up to the sky, lift those legs into tabletop position. Spine is flat to the mat, imprinted spine. We're gonna go into our dead bugs. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, we're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Exhale, we lift. Inhale, extend, exhale. Breathe in and out.
for more of a challenge. Let's extend those legs out straight. We've got a straight leg dead box. Making sure your ribs are tucked in the whole time. We've got no arching at the back. We're keeping it pressed down towards the floor. Nice work, guys. Inhale, exhale, we lift. We've got six more, and five, four, three. Last one, we're gonna hold here, and we're gonna go to our straight leg switches nice and fast. So legs extended, start long. We're gonna switch and switch as fast as you can. Good job, more of a challenge, lift up into your ab curl, reach your dumbbells up to the sky. You've got this. You've got six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Bring the dumbbells down to the floor. Hug those knees. Take some big circles with those knees. Hug those knees in. Let's gently rock from side to side. You can massage out your lower back, rock those knees. Yeah. Then from here, let's keep hold of that left knee, extend that right leg out long. Outside hands at the top of the shin, inside hands at the bottom of the shin. Give that knee a great big hug. Take a nice big inhale as you exhale, let's swap it over to the other side. Hug that knee in. And then we're gonna switch over to the other side, but we're gonna keep that opposite leg extended straight, hovering off the floor. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna switch. Keep that left leg hovering, hug that right knee in tight. And switch. Switch. And switch. For more of a challenge, let's lift up into our ab curl. Hold that ab curl up the whole time as we switch. So you can stay here with the knees bent or let's extend that leg out long. Hug that legging nice and close, holding onto the back of the calf or the hamstring, whatever suits you guys. Let's switch. Nice work. Getting a nice stretch of the hamstring as we work in those abs a little bit more. Final bit now, guys, you are almost done. You've worked so hard. We've got six more, and five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, hug those knees in. Relax that head back down. Let's extend that left leg out straight. Keep hold of that right knee. Then take your left hand, guide that leg, knee over and across the body in your spinal twist. Left hand is on the knee, right arm is extended out straight, shoulder height. Let's take our gaze over that right arm. Oh, sigh and get it all out. Making sure you're both your shoulders are still in contact with the ground. Take a deep breath in. And then exhaling out. Let's come back to center. Hug that knee in. We'll stop over to the other side. Taking our spinal twist. Left arm is extended out, shoulder height. Let's take our gaze over to that left arm. Inhale. And then exhaling out, guys. Beautiful work. And then let's come back to center. Taking our hands behind the back of our thighs. Let's gently come in up to our seated position. Extend those legs out long, reach those arms up to the sky. Take a nice big inhale as you exhale, let's forwards fold. 
flexing those toes, lifting those heels, feeling a nice stretch down the calf. Breathe in and then exhale, let's fold forward. Let's come up into our seated position, cross the legs. Let's come into our all fours. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees. Let's come into our down dog. Press the hips up to the sky, sink the heels. Inhale, exhale, let's round forwards into our plank. Come down onto our knees. Lower the chest down to the floor. Keep those hands in close. Let's press up into our cobra. Lift the chest. Breathe in. Then as you exhale out, let's come into our child's pose. Sink the hips down to the heels. Reach those arms out long. Breathe in and out. Let's walk our hands over to the left. Feeling a nice stretch down our side. Back to center. And then over to our right. Back to center one more time. Let's lift the hips. Come into our four point kneel, then reach the arms forwards, lower the chest down towards the mat. Breathing in and out. And let's come back to our four point kneeling again. Let's come into our seated position on the mat, soles of our feet together. Open those knees up wide. Taking your hands behind the feet, coming up onto your sit bones. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, let's press those knees down towards the floor. And then when you're ready, let's come into our seated position, cross leg position. And then guys, you are all done for today. Thank you so much for joining us for your 30 minute Pilates class. I hope you guys all enjoyed this Power Pilates session and I will see you all in our next workout.